Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. I'm so glad that you're able to be with me here today. So let's take a look at a new garden area of vegetables that we have been planting. We actually started it last year, but we've redesigned it and added new features to it. And then also we're going to look at the canna lilies that I planted earlier in this season and see how far they've come. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Catherine's Garden. As you can see, the calla lilies are coming up. And if you look closely at the leaves, you can see the markings on the leaves here of the calla lilies, and they are starting to unfold. There were five bulbs placed in this container. You can kind of see where they're clustered. One, two, three, four, five. And they are coming up. Calla lilies love it when it is warm and when it's very hot and summery. They can handle sun, but they love shade too. So I am so pleased to see them coming up out of the container. This is the first year that I have planted these uh, calla lily bulbs. And um, so they are looking really, really good here. Yeah, next week, June 20th, will be the first day of summer. And uh, spring will be over. When I look at the garden, Things have definitely developed over the last two months. We're in a new place. This is the garden. And we've established a lot of different areas in the garden. And right now, that back area over here, uh, last year we created a new vegetable patch. And um, actually it wasn't last year, but it was in development and this year um, it's gone through some more changes. There's some similarities but yet there are some differences here that you can find. I think that each year it's improving and getting better and better. Now I created this path in and in here are different plantings. I've even added some whimsy. Do you see the frog? <laughs> we have been expanding this bag vegetable garden and it's taken up this good <laughs> large size of the of the land which is really good um, for this year and the eggplants are doing fantastic um, also are the other plants here I believe that is a um, pumpkin yeah or a butternut squash probably a butternut squash plant but these tomatoes are doing really good now look at this plant here it's doing so nice. Um, it's a patio plant, but we put it in the ground. Let me read you the tag. So it's a tomato patio plant. Um, and um, but it's doing so well here, and it's growing like a bush going to bush out and then we have the eggplants here and um, 
then in this bed we've created a little woodsonly like I say woodsonly I, I don't know if that's a name or a term but there are a lot of wood um, wood loving ground covers here but I created this little garden vegetable patch here and so I planted in these cabbage and they didn't some of them are doing okay but some of them have been eaten by um, worms I don't know if it's worms but some kind of bug cabbage bug like look at this one here <laughs> and so I've pulled off the leaves of those that have been damaged as much as possible but you can see that it's still happening but I also planted around it some uh, marigolds from the other garden and I'm hoping that that will help to ward off some of these insects and bugs and critters and so forth. But look what I designed here. It's a trellis and this is for the um, nasturtiums. I'm hoping that the nasturtiums will just grow up, vine up, and have those beautiful flowers there. So in the midst here, I planted also some kale, eggplants, a couple of peppers. I don't know, the peppers didn't fare too well. This is a uh, squash. Summer squash or zucchini, one or the other. <laughs> and check this out. So, to add a little whimsy in this garden here, vegetable patch, I put this pot. That's a blueberry plant, and in it is a I think that's either a pumpkin or a butternut squash. And check out the froggy with the bell. Now these are cucumbers. These are big cucumbers. And um, I want them to not trail on the ground but to come up. So we've had some old fencing. I'm using the fencing um, as a guide for them and then Hopefully I'll string this, put some string across, so that the, um, the, the cucumbers can rest on it. The cucumber vine will have something to follow on it. Um, that way they won't be on the ground. This is a potato plant. And then I have some more tomatoes. That I planted. In here. So this is interesting. I mean, this is still in development. This whole garden plot here. I also planted some beets down here too, as well, and the peppers. And I, I created this little path so that I'm not just stepping in mud but that I have some place to, <laughs> to walk as this fills out. So another area that we just created here for planting vegetables is this area on this side of the garden. And this receives a lot of afternoon sun and it, um, it's, you could tell it's a really good location. So we, because we have this big uh, space here, we planted a lot of um, pumpkins, squash, um, crookneck squash. I put in some zinnia seeds. We have a few peppers and we're experimenting here. 
Um, and it's going to be very interesting. I think we're going to really just enjoy it. Well, my neighbor has woken up. It's early in the morning. I don't know. You probably saw me out here. I don't know. But anyway, that's. I live in the city. Yes. So this is the side bed. This is what it looks like here. Everybody's waking up now because my other neighbors just woke up also. I just saw her coming out. But let me finish this tour with this front bed. And they're growing really well. I have here um, my uh, zucchini plants, some squash plants, the tomatoes. And here I planted also the um, okra. And they're doing good in the ground here. Check out my okra. Mm -hmm. uh, those seeds that I got from Baker Creek. Um, and I have different peppers. And here are the, they're doing really good. The kale that I planted from seed. It's starting to really look like kale. <laughs> um, eggplant. And, and these are zinnias, and I planted that from seed, from a box of zinnias, seeds from um, the Dollar Tree, and they're doing really, really well. And remember the um, gladiator alliums? They're changing. See that? <laughs> Staying to seed. This is bee bomb. It's gonna look really, really pretty. Now here, this is a day lily, Stella Deora day lily, and I just had one container, and I divided it up, and I just made a trail. And over the years, they have just grown into this beautiful, beautiful um, line of, of um, daylilies. And then I also put some other daylilies, too, that will come up later on there. But this is it. Featuring the vegetable gardens. This is the side vegetable garden, and it has really taken off in the last couple of days because it's been nice and warm we've just had some rain a really hard rainstorm so that the water the rain moisture has been able to get really deep into the roots of the plants um, if you can see here this tomato plant here has grown substantially and soon I'm gonna have to find some sort of uh, a support for it but right now it's doing okay can you even see the flowers? Soon I will be having tomatoes from this garden. Also, I created this uh, wiring. This is from a um, tomato cage that I had that had broken at the top. And so I created this teepee for the cucumbers that I planted here. And you can see the cucumbers coming up. So I'm going to let them all come up and um, they will fill this teepee. And that way also the uh, Cucumbers won't be won't be on the ground, but will be protected. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of like this design. I think it came out really good. It has an, uh, a real modern twist to it here in the garden. Now in these pots are the uh, bulbs, the summer bulbs that I planted in. So this is the begonia. You could start to see the leaf coming up. And then these are the cannas, these two. And I believe this is another begonia. It's taken them a while to come up, but I think they like this spot and it's been much more warmer at night time and the daytime temperatures have been like in the high 70s so I think they are now feeling <laughs> the warmth of summer and are now deciding to um, sprout and de develop. On this beautiful June Sunday I've noticed that the garden has changed over time that everything has grown up to a new state, new level. And this is not what I saw in January for sure, but this is what I see now for 2020. The garden doesn't even look like how it looked last year because things are different. Each year has its own personal quality. And I think that's the way life is too. That each year, there are things that are the same. There are those constants, no pun intended. But yet there are the differences and the show of growth. You can see it. And should we be upset about that? No. Because without change, there is no growth. We don't expect a baby to stay a baby. Each month, we look for signs of maturity and growth growing points, landmarks, and that's what we need to look for for ourselves. And that's what we see in the garden. If you like this video, please subscribe and come on back to Catherine's Garden. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful, beautiful June day. Bye.